अवार्ड्स रिकॉग्निशंस सुभाष चंद्रा बोस डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट अवार्ड दो शून्य दो तीन ओडिशा स्टेट डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट अथॉरिटी ऑस्टमा एंड लुंगले फायर स्टेशन एलएफएस मिजोरम सिलेक्टेड फॉर सुभाष चंद्रा बोस आपदा प्रबंधन पुरस्कार दो शून्य दो तीन फॉर एक्सिलेंस इन डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट फॉर द ईयर दो हजार तेईस ऑन द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ नेताजी सुभाष चंद्रा बोस ऑन तेईस आर डी जनवरी ऑस्टमा वॉज एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन उन्नीस सौ निन्यानवे आफ्टर द ह्यूज साइक्लोन ट्रेजिडी इन ओडिशा Lungle Fire Station efficiently and effectively controlled the massive fire that broke out in the uninhabited forest area surrounding Lungle town on 24th April 2021. This award is announced every year on the birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose 23rd January. Aska Police Station of Odisha's Ganjam District became the country's number 1 police station. Aska Police Station in Ganjam District of Odisha was awarded as number 1 police station by Home Minister Amit Shah during the DGSP IGSP conference 2022 held at National Agricultural Science Complex, New Delhi. Gangapur Police Station in Odisha's Ganjam District has been awarded the second best police station award. डिया प्रभात्रे कॉन्फर्ड विद पंडित हरि प्रसाद चौसिया अवार्ड हिंदुस्तानी वोकलिस्ट डिया प्रभात्रे वॉज कॉन्फर्ड विद पंडित हरि प्रसाद चौसिया लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड इंडियन फिल्म्स बैग अवार्ड फॉर बेस्ट स्क्रिप्ट राइटर एंड बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस एट डिफ अनिकदत्ता डायरेक्टेड फिल्म अपराजितो द अनडिफीटेड गॉट द बेस्ट स्क्रिप्ट राइटिंग अवार्ड Ketki Narayan was declared the best actress for her role in Krishnan Duklesh directed film Prapeda Hawks Muffin The awards were given during Asian Film Competition section at the 21st Dhaka International Film Festival DIF held in Bangladesh Ikke Watnep from Japan got the best actor award Bhavinder Bari of Oscar nominated Gujarati film Chelo Show Bags International Press Academy IPA Award Bhavinder Bari the lead child actor in Pan Nalin's Oscar nominated Gujarati film Chelo Show the last film show bagged the International Press Academy IPA Award in the best breakthrough performance category at the 27th Satellite Awards held in the United States the Film is the first Indian film to be shortlisted for the Oscars in the best international feature film category after 21 years Harish Damodaran wins Gaja Capital Business Book Prize 2022 journalist Otha Harish Damodaran was announced as winner of Gaja Capital Business Book Prize 2022 He received it for his book Broke to Breakthrough The Rise of India's Largest Private Dairy Company Nepalese ophthalmologist Dia Sandukrut wins Bahrain's ESA award for service to humanity Himalayan Cataract Project co-founder and noted Nepali ophthalmologist Dia Sandukrut has won the ESA award to 0 to 1 to 0 to 2 for service to humanity a top civilian award of Bahrain The award carries a cash prize of 8 US dollar million a certificate of merit and a gold medallion Nanera Bags Golden Kailash Award in Ajantailora Film Festival Nanera a Rajasthani film has bagged the Golden Kailash Award for the best movie at the Ajantailora Film Festival The movie was directed by Deepankar Prakash It also bagged awards for best director best screenplay best editor film RRR received critics choice awards 2023 for best foreign language film and best song for song natunatu after the golden globe awards the film rise roar revolt i rrr directed by veteran film director ss rajamouli has now won two categories at the 28th et critics choice awards best foreign language film and best song for the natunatu song Our Bonnie Gabriel of USA crowned Miss Universe 2020 to the 71st Miss Universe pageant was held in the city of New Orleans in the US state of Louisiana. After defeating contestants from 84 countries around the world, Gabriel has won this crown. Our Bonnie Gabriel of America has won this competition.
She has been crowned by former World Beauty Harna Sandhu of India Mrs World 2022 Sargam Kaushal a resident of Jammu made her name in the event and after waiting for 21 years the crown of Mrs World is once again with India Miss World in the year 2017 India's Manushi Chiller had won this title K Venu was awarded the Federal Bank Literary Award 2022 in January 2023. Renowned author K Venu was awarded the Federal Bank Literary Award 2022 for his autobiography on Avashantind Katha. Mr Venu received the award from Balgopal Chandrasekhar, Chairman and Independent Director, Federal Bank, at a special event organized as part of the Kerala Literature Festival. appointments resignations abdel fatta lcc according to the ministry of external affairs egypt president abdel fatta lcc will be the chief guest at the 74th republic day celebrations vikram devdat the appointments committee of the cabinet approved the appointment of vikram devdat as the next director general in the directorate of general of civil aviation dgca Justice AK Sikri retired Supreme Court judge AK Sikri has been appointed by the Delhi High Court as administrator to manage the use of funds for the ISSF shooting World Cup in 2023. The World Cup will take place in March in Bhopal. Minor Shafiq Minochi Shafiq will assume the position on July 8 becoming the first woman to hold the position in the university's to 68 year history. Chris Hipkins New Zealand's former COVID-19 response minister Chris Hipkins will replace Jacinda Ardern as prime minister. Nick Walker Nick Walker has been announced as the chief executive officer of Ken Oil Gas a unit of Vedanta Limited. Praveen Sharma Praveen Sharma has been appointed as the director in the National Health Authority Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Aruna Miller Hyderabad born Aruna Miller has become the first Indian American politician to be elected as the lieutenant governor of the US state of Maryland Janani Ramachandran 80 year old Indian American attorney Janani Ramachandran has emerged as the youngest and the first queer woman of color to take oath as the Oakland City Council member in the U.S. State of California. LGBT is an initialism that stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. In use since the 1990s, the initialism, as well as some of its common variants, functions as an umbrella term for sexuality and gender identity. Jacinda Ardern Prime Minister of New Zealand Jacinda Ardern has announced her resignation from her post at the annual meeting of her party. Neil Manifukan renowned Assamese poet and gyanpeet awardee Neil Manifukan passed away. Gina Lollo Brigida Italian film legend Gina Lollo Brigida passes away at age 95. Lucile Randon the world's oldest person French nun Lucile Randon passed away in January 2023 at the age of 118 Gambian vice president Badrai Lujuf passes away in India the vice president of the West African nation of Gambia Badrai Lujuf passed away after a short illness in India on 18th January 2023 He took office in 2022 as the vice president and served as Gambia's education minister from 2017 to 2022. Nawab Mir Barkat Ali Khan Mir Barkat Ali Khan alias Mukarram Jah Bahadur, the last and eighth Nizam of the princely state of Hyderabad, died on 14th January 2023 at the age of 89 in Istanbul, Turkey. Lombardy UK's Claire Lombardy has been appointed as the new chief economist of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD. Pankaj Kumar Singh retired Director General of the Border Security Force BSF. Pankaj Kumar Singh was appointed on 17 January as the Deputy National Security Advisor in the National Security Council Secretariat for a period of 2 years.
Nui Xuan Phuc Vietnam's President Nui Xuan Phuc has submitted his resignation on 17th January after the ruling Communist Party found him responsible for corruption, scandals and wrongdoings. Sibi George Sibi George, presently Ambassador of India to Japan, has been concurrently accredited as the next Ambassador of India to the Republic of Marshall Islands on 16th January 2023. Sports Netherlands record biggest ever victory in Hockey World Cup history Three-time champion Netherlands registered a record-breaking 14-0 win over Chile to secure a direct qualification into the quarter-finals at the FIH Mains Hockey World Cup on 19 January 2023. Australia previously held the record for the largest margin, 12-0, of victory in a Hockey World Cup match against S. Africa India Open Badminton, Korean sensation and Seong wins women's singles final in the India Open Badminton Championship. Korean sensation and Seong wins women's singles final on 22 January at KD Jadhav Indoor Stadium in New Delhi. Sports Ministry holds its first Mission Olympic Cell, MOC, meeting outside Delhi the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, MIAS organized its first Mission Olympic Cell, MOC, meeting outside Delhi and during the Hockey World Cup in Bhuvneshwar, Odisha. The MOC members met to discuss the major agenda of India's Olympic program and proposals for the target Olympic podium scheme, tops, athletes. The Indian men's and women's hockey teams are the only teams that are funded under Mayas's top scheme and get an annual expenditure of Chobis Rupai Sia under Sports Authority of India's SAI Annual Calendar for Training and Competitions ACTC, scheme. Target Olympic Podium Scheme TOPS, was created in July 2014 under the auspices of the National Sports Development NSDF with the objective of identifying and preparing potential medal prospects for the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Yonex Sunrise India Open 2023 feat is set to start in New Delhi The India Open which is officially known as Yonex Sunrise India Open 2023 is set to start in New Delhi. The tournament is being held in India since 2008. However, this will be the first time when India Open will be held in the Super 750 status category. The tournament will see top players from 29 countries, and a total of 97 players will compete in various categories. Akane Yamaguchi Victor Axel Senwin Malaysia Open Women's Main singles crowns Akane Yamaguchi and Victor Axelson won the Malaysia Open Super 1000 Badminton Women's and main singles titles in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. IOS sets up seven-member committee to probe allegations against WFI chief the Indian Olympic Association, IOA, formed the seven-member committee, including MC Mary Com and Yogesh Vardat, to probe the allegations of sexual harassment against Wrestling Federation of India President Bridge Bhushansharan Singh by top grapplers. Besides legendary boxer Mary Com and wrestler Yogeshwar, the panel also includes Archer Dola Banerjee and Indian Weightlifting Federation of India, IWLF, President Sadev Yadav. Lakshman Rawat won National Sports Club of India Snooker Open Crown 2023. Lakshman Rawat of PSPB overcame fellow PSPB challenger Aditya Mehta 9 6 in a best of Satra frame final. Lakshman Rawat of PSPB emerged victorious in the Bokline in a CI All India Snooker Open. Lakshman Rawat of the Petroleum Sports Promotion Board, PSPB, won the NSCI Snooker Open 2023 against Aditya Mehta. Cricketer Hashimamla announces retirement from all forms of cricket Hashimamla, South Africa's second-highest test run scorer of all time, announced his retirement from all forms of cricket on 18 January 2023. He scored 90-82 to 82 runs in 124 tests, second only to Jackie Scalis, hit 27 ODI hundreds, and scored a total of 18,672 runs in all formats for South Africa.
He became the first and only South African batsman to score a triple century in Test cricket. Shubman Gill becomes fifth Indian to score double century in ODIs. India's young batsman Shubman Gill has become the fifth Indian to score a double century in ODIs against New Zealand. In the match played at the Rajiv Gandhi International Stadium in Hyderabad, Shubman Gill scored 208 runs in 149 balls with the help of 19 fours and 9 sixes. ICC suspended Rwanda's Giovanni Suez for illegal bowling action The Rwanda fast bowler, Giovanni Suez, has been suspended by ICC from bowling in international cricket with immediate effect after her action was found illegal at under-19 Women's T20 World Cup. India registers biggest win in history of ODI cricket India beat Sri Lanka by 317 runs in the third and final ODI in Thiruvananthapuram to clinch the series 3-0. This is the biggest win in the history of ODI cricket so far. In response to the target of 391 runs, the Sri Lankan team was reduced to just 73 runs in 22 overs. Kohli was adjudged player of the match and player of the series. Viacom 18 gets Ripple Media rights for Norso Ikyavan Rupai Crore BCCI Secretary Jay Shah tweeted that Viacom Athara has acquired the media rights of the Women's Indian Premier League, Ripple, which is going to start from March se April 2023. Viacom 18 has bought the media rights of the women's IPL for five years from 2023 to 2027 for 951 rupee crore. Victor and Akane won the Malaysia Open badminton title to time world champion and defending Olympic champion Victor Axelsen, Denmark, and world champion Akane Yamaguchi, Japan, have won the mains and women's singles titles respectively in Malaysia Open Badminton 2023. Victor Axelsen of Denmark won the tournament for the second time in a row by defeating Kodainroka of Japan in the main singles final. Japan Sakane, on the other hand, defeated world number 4 Ahin Seung of South Korea, 20, to win the title. Barcelona won the Spanish Super Cup for the 14th time Barcelona beat Real Madrid 3-1 in Riyadh to win their 14th Spanish Super Cup title. Final match played at the King Fahad Stadium in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Science Technology Scientists used laser to change the direction of lightning strikes for the first time. Scientists used a high-powered laser to change the direction of lightning strikes for the first time. The laser was aimed at the sky on the top of Mount Santis in northeastern Switzerland. The new device, called Laser Lightning Rod, LLR, could increase protection by extending the height of rods hundreds of meters. With more development, LLR could improve protection for important places such as power stations and airports. Jadhavpur University team builds pollution map based on roadside dust. Geologists at Jadhavpur University have found that they can get a preliminary sense of the pollution in an area by collecting roadside dust and testing it with magnetic fields. The technique reveals the presence of different magnetic elements and by tracing them back to specific sources of pollution, the researchers could tell which sources were dominating in different places. Bharoas India's indigenous mobile operating system by IIT Madras with the goal of creating a self-reliant India, a company that was incubated at IIT Madras has built a mobile operating system. The developers have dubbed it Bharois and claim that it would help the nation's 100 crore mobile phone subscribers. It provides access to trusted apps from organization-specific private app store services, Pass. It comes with no default apps, NDA. It offers native over-the-air, Nota, updates that can help to keep the devices secure. NASA awards $425 million to Boeing Company for Agency's Sustainable Flight Demonstrator Project. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, has awarded $425 million to the Boeing Company for a Sustainable Flight Demonstrator Project. 
Boeing will work with NASA to validate technologies aimed at building, testing and flying a full-scale demonstrator aircraft and reducing emissions. The United States has set a goal of achieving net zero greenhouse gas emissions from the US aviation sector by 2050. ISRO Shukrayan I mission to planet Venus reportedly shifted to 2031 p. Shri Kumar, the Satish Dhawan professor at the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, an advisor to its space science program, stated that the organization has not yet received approval from the Indian government for the Venus mission and that, as a result, the mission may be delayed until 2021. Shukrayan I, the ISRO Venus mission, was scheduled to launch in December 2024. The concept was conceived in Doha five years later, after the Department of Space got a 23% increase in the 2017-2018 budget, ISRO started preliminary investigations. In April 2017, the organization requested payload proposals from research institutions. The Veritas and Envision missions of the American and European space agencies, respectively, both have Venus missions scheduled for 2031. MasterCard announced second phase of Girls 4 Tech STEM Education in India MasterCard announced the expansion of its signature Girls 4 Tech, STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Education program in India. The Girls Char Tech is supported by MasterCard Impact Fund and in partnership with the American India Foundation, AIF. The expansion of the program aims to reach up to 1 lakh female students across the country by Doha Chobis to encourage them to take up STEM education. The program includes 14,400 students in Delhi and 40 additional government schools where STEM courses will be offered to girls aged 8 to 14. The Girls 4 Tech program reached over 1,12,482 girls in urban and rural locations across six states in India, including 10,000 across Delhi. According to the All India Survey on Higher Education, ASHE, 2019-2020, women comprised over 43% of STEM graduates in India and only 14% pursued scientific research in universities and institutions. Bharti Airtel to invest 2000 rupee crore to set up hyperscale data center in Hyderabad Bharti Airtel Group announced that it will be investing 2000 rupee crore for setting up a large hyperscale data center in Hyderabad. The announcement was made at the Telangana launch at Davos, Switzerland in the presence of Telangana Minister for IT and Industries K.T. Rama Rao. The release added that the Bharti Etel Group, through its data center arm, NXTRA Data Centers, will invest the amount as capital investment for the infrastructure which will further attract investments from their customers. Emerson launches generic version of breast cancer drug Palbrist Emerson Group launched the world's first generic palbociclip tablets indicated for advanced breast cancer therapy under the brand Palbrist. Palbociclip is approved by the USFDA, EMA and CDSCO in combination with hormonal therapies for patients with hormone receptor positive, human epidermal growth factor receptor negative locally advanced or metastatic breast cancer. Canadian and IISC astronomers detect radio signal in distant galaxy using GMRT astronomers from McGill University in Canada and the Indian Institute of Science, IISC, in Bangalore have used data from the giant Metawave radio telescope, GMRT, in Pune to detect a radio signal originating from atomic hydrogen in an extremely distant galaxy. Using GMRT data, Researchers have detected a radio signal from atomic hydrogen in a distant galaxy at redshift Z8.19. Defense Border Security Force, BSF, starts OPS Alert Exercise India is to celebrate its Bhattar ND Republic Day on 26 January 1950. Several anti-national elements try to cause trouble in the country during such nationwide celebrations.
To put them under control and to increase security at the border, the BSF is conducting a seven-day long exercise called the OPS Alert. During the exercise, the security personnel will hold drills in the India-Pakistan border that extends between Run of Kutch and Sir Creek and also in the Burma district of Rajasthan. The largest biennial exercise of the Three Services Ampex 2023 organized the biggest Three Services Exercise Ampex 2023 was conducted from January 17 to 22 near Kakinada in Andhra Pradesh. Troops of the Indian Army, warships of the Indian Navy and aircraft of the Air Force participated during the five-day exercise. Chief of the Three Armies Army Chief General Manoj Pandey Chief of the Air Staff Air Marshal Vivek Ram Chaudhary Navy Chief Admiral A. Hari Kumar Chief of Defence Staff CDS LT Gen Anil Chauhan Indian Air Force to conduct Pralay exercise in Northeast. Indian Air Force is going to conduct a major exercise in Northeast India from February 8 to 5. This war exercise has been named Pralay. The exercise will be conducted in preparation for another Air Force exercise named Eastern Akash, an annual command. Level exercise to be held in the first week of February. Tata Boeing Aerospace delivers first fuselage of R-64 Apache helicopter to Indian Army Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited, TBL, has delivered the first fuselages for the six R-64 Apache attack helicopters ordered by the Indian Army from its state-of-the-art facility in Hyderabad. Boeing completed the delivery of all 22 R-64E Apache helicopters to the Indian Air Force in Doha Zarbis. Fifth Kalwari class submarine Vajiv to be commissioned into Indian Navy. Indian Navy is set to commission the fifth Kalwari class submarine Vajir on 23rd January 2023. The Chief of the Naval Staff ADM Ahari Kumar will be the chief guest for the ceremony. These submarines are being built in India by the Mazago Dock Shipbuilders Limited, MDL, Mumbai, under collaboration with MS Naval Group, France. Four of the Calvary class of submarines have already been commissioned into the Indian Navy. The 21st edition of the Varuna bilateral exercise between the Indian and French navies began the 21st edition of the bilateral naval exercise Varuna between India and France will be conducted from 16 to 20 January 2023 off the Western Seaboard. The bilateral exercise between the navies of the two countries was started in the year 1993. It was named Varuna in the year 2001. India, Egypt to hold first ever exercises between Special Forces India and Egypt have announced to hold the first ever military exercise Cyclone 1 involving the Special Forces in Udaipur in Jan 23. It is being held to celebrate the 75 years of diplomatic relations between the two countries. Egypt has also been invited as a guest country at the G20 summit in Doha Hazar Tais. Rank Mukesh Ambani number no. 1 among Indians and to globally on brand guardianship index billionaire Mukesh Ambani ranked no 1 among Indians and second globally on the brand guardianship index Doha Hazar Tais overtaking the likes of Satyan Dela of Microsoft and Google's Sundar Pichai. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang topped the list globally, with Microsoft's Satyan Dela occupying third place. S. No CEO Corporation A Jensen Huang NVIDIA Do Mukesh Ambani Reliance Team Satyan Dela Microsoft Char Shantanunarayan Adobe Paat Sundar Pichai Google Global Firepower Index Do Hazar Tais The Global Firepower Report Do Hazar Tais has ranked India as the char at most powerful army in the world. The most powerful country in the world is the United States of America, followed by Russia, China, India. World's richest actor list, Shah Rukh Khan beats Tom Cruise as per a recent list released by the World of Statistics. Shah Rukh Khan is the third richest actor in the world with his net worth at $770 million. The list is led by Seinfeld star Jerry Seinfeld and Tyler Perry with $8 billion. They are followed by Dwayna Johnson, 
विद आठ सौ डॉलर मिलियन टॉप गन स्टार टॉम क्रूज फॉलोज एस आर के ऑन द लिस्ट विद छह सौ बीस डॉलर मिलियन टी सी एस इन्फोसिस अमंग टॉप थ्री ग्लोबल आई टी ब्रांड्स एस पर ब्रांड फाइनेंस टाटा कंसल्टेंसी सर्विसेज एंड इन्फोसिस ग्रू दे ब्रांड वैल्यू टू रिटेन देर पोजिशन एज द सेकेंड एंड थर्ड मोस्ट वैल्यूएबल आई टी सर्विसेज ब्रांड्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द आई टी सर्विसेज पच्चीस फीट लिस्ट प्रिपेयर बाई यू के बेस्ड कंसल्टेंसी ब्रांड फाइनेंस फॉर द ईयर दो हजार तेईस एक्सेंचुर रिटेन द टॉप स्लॉट फॉर द फिफ्थ ईयर स्ट्रेट With a brand valued at Untali's dot art billion, it is the strongest IT services brand in the ranking with a brand strength index (BSI) score of 87.8 out of 100 and a corresponding AA brand rating. Amazon back as world's most valued brand. Apple down to no though, according to brand valuation consultancy Brand Finances report. Global 5.0.0.2.0.3. While Amazon is back at no ache, its brand value has fallen by over 50 dollar billion this year, with its rating slipping from AA plus to AA. Billionaire Jeff Bezos' e-commerce company Amazon has become the most valued brand, overtaking Apple, last year's topper. Report: 17th Annual Status of Education Report 2022. Assay. Released by NGO Pratham, the 17th Annual Status of Education Report (ASE) 2022 was released by NGO Pratham, which highlights the impact of the pandemic on education. The report revealed high enrollment of children in schools, which is a good performance indicator for government. Programs like Nipun Bharat Mission. Report findings. One enrollment in government schools according to ASER 2022 the country has seen an increase in the enrollment of children in government schools two basic education and arithmetic skills there is a decline in basic education and arithmetic skills of young children in class 3 and class 5 in india three according to ASER 2022 The proportion of out of school girls aged 11 to 14 in India is set to fall to an all time low of 2% in 2022 from 4.1% in 2018. This indicates that efforts to promote gender equality in education have been effective and have helped increase enrollment of girls in schools. For the report also said that despite the overall decline three states Madhya Pradesh Uttar Pradesh and Chhattisgarh were a matter of concern with more than 10% girls out of school. 5 According to the report, there has been a sharp decline in the reading ability of class 3 girl students in rural schools across the country as only 20.5% of class 3 students were found able to read a class to textbook. India's richest 1% own more than 40% of total wealth. According to Oxfam report according to a report by Oxfam India the richest 1% of Indians own 13 times more wealth than the bottom 50% the top 5% own 61.7% of total wealth almost 20 times more than the 3% owned by the bottom half according to survival of the richest the india supplement released by the non governmental organization NGO wealth inequality tends to be denser at the top miscellaneous parakram divas 126th birth anniversary of netaji subhash chandra bose the birth anniversary of subhash chandra bose on 23rd january is celebrated every year as parakram divas to inspire the people of the country it was on this day in 1897 that netaji was born in katak odisha bbc released controversial documentary on pm modi india the modi question britain's national broadcaster bbc released a documentary series titled india the modi question the first episode of which aired on 17th january and was removed from youtube on 18th january the second part of the series is scheduled to air on january 24 dot the Series looks at Narendra Modi's time as the Chief Minister of Gujarat. SC 
रिफ्यूसेस गूगल स्टे ऑन सीसीआई ऑर्डर ऑन एक हजार तीन सौ सैतीस रूपए सी आर पेनल्टी द सुप्रीम कोर्ट रिफ्यूज टू स्टे द ऑर्डर पास्ट बाय द नेशनल कंपनी लॉ अपेलेट ट्राइब्यूनल एनसीलेट डायरेक्टिंग गूगल टू डिपॉजिट दस परसेंट ऑफ अ पेनल्टी ऑफ एक हजार तीन सौ सैतीस रूपए क्रोर इम्पोज बाय द कॉम्पिटिशन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया सीसीआई गूगल अब्यूज इट्स डोमिनेंट पोजिशन इन द एंड्रॉयड एकोस्फेयर anti competitive practices by mandating the pre-installation of google mobile services including search youtube maps etc book and author a book title coaching beyond my days with the indian cricket team by r koshik r shridhar a book come let's run by tamil nadu health minister released the english version of the book titled come Let's run by Tamil Nadu Health Minister Ma Subramanian was released by Krishnamachari Srikanth former captain of the Indian cricket team in January to Z